Welcome to everyone watching this uh, video today. This is the Bible study and this Bible study is coming from the back of a noisy car. Um, I've been out ministering today at doing some evangelism, but we're still going to have our Bible study for the saints in the church and for anyone that has stumbled on this video today. Welcome if you're a visitor and join us in uh, moving through the passage of Ephesians chapter 2. In a moment we're going to pray, we're going to read that scripture and then we're going to actually break it down, talk through it and of course close in prayer. So that is the Bible study for Ephesians chapter 2. Let me read it now. Ephesians chapter 2. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world, and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our sinful nature and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature objects of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who in his rich, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this not from our not from yourselves it is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do Therefore, remember that formerly you were you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision, that done in the body by the hands of men. Remember that at the time you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenants of the promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by abolishing in his flesh the law with its commandments and regulations. His purpose was to create in himself one new man out of the two, thus making peace, and in this one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who were near. For, though, for through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you two are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Amen. Now let us pray. Let us pray that God will open his word as he just has done. That God will meet us in his Holy Spirit and God will touch each one of our hearts, our minds and our souls. Let, it re let him renew us with his word, transform us with his word, and send us out to tell many about him. Amen.
Now, I read the scripture first because I am in a lay-by. And as you can possibly hear the background noise, a couple of cars pulled up and stopped. And individuals came out for a cigarette break. So I pray those individuals that heard that scripture may be convicted, may be called, and may be converted in the power of Jesus Christ. Let us now move into today's study. Today's study will be very, very short, hopefully very, very sweet, and split into three main headings. The first one, alive in Christ. The second one, one in Christ. And the third one, menu of the day. I'll repeat those three points. Alive in Christ, one in Christ, and menu of the day. So let us start. Alive in Christ. So this passage talks about before we were dead in our transgressions. We lived by the sinful nature and were disobedient and we were objects of wrath. That was all before. But now, after accepting Jesus Christ, we are alive in Christ. We receive God's mercy and God's grace. And we are raised up with Christ into the heavenly realms. Praise the Lord for that. And let me quote Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, which states, It is... By grace you have been saved through faith, and this, not from yourselves, it is a gift of God. It doesn't matter what we do, it doesn't matter how successful we are, or how big and amazing we are in the eyes of the world. It's nothing that we can earn or do ourselves. It is a gift from God. And it is that gift of grace that we have been saved through faith. Praise God. That amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me and saved a wretch like you. Whoever you are watching this video today, let me say, before God touched you, you were a wretch. You were wretched and you were an object of wrath. But God met you, gave you the free gift of salvation when you put your trust in him and you are now a saved, redeemed, transformed creature in him. The old has gone and the new has come. Praise the Lord. So he saved a wretch like me and a wretch like you. That's the first point. Second point one in Christ. Formerly, we were as the Gentiles. We were uncircumcised. We were separated from Christ. And we were living by the law. We were foreigners, um, as the Bible terms it. But now, we are living like the Jews, which just means we are living like the chosen ones, God's chosen and now we are circumcised and of course as we mentioned many a time before we're not physically circumcised or uncircumcised and for all those that are watching this video you don't need to squirm uh, to grimace or to blush we're talking about the circumcision of the heart which we detail in Romans chapter 2 verses 28 to 29 And I'll read it now. A man is not a Jew if he is only one outwardly, nor is circumcision merely outward and physical. No, a man is a Jew if he is one inwardly, and circumcision is circumcision of the heart by the spirit, not by the written code. Such a man's praise is not from men, but from God. So it's the circumcision of the heart. And that's not just for man, that is the circumcision of the heart for man, woman, and child. Praise the Lord. And that means that we're grafted to Christ through the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross that redeems, that sanctifies, and makes us holy. 
and saved in God's eyes. Praise God. And it's only through God's grace that we become these new citizens, new citizens with him and in him. Praise the Lord. So that's the second point. One in Christ. And our third point. Menu of the day. The menu of the day, therefore, is peace, grace, mercy and life abundantly. I'll mention those again. The menu of the day. Peace, grace, mercy and life abundantly. And Jesus says in John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I'll read that again. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the way. Jesus has made that way through the act of um, dying on the cross dying to sin and being raised again in glory and he is going to return but he is the way to the father and it's only through accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour that we can have that restored relationship with God the Father and the menu of the day is peace a peace that passes all understanding can't even say it my teeth are falling out a peace that passeth all understanding and grace grace abundantly given that that we didn't deserve but God gave it us freely in the work of Jesus on the cross and mercy mercy that was lavishly uh, washed over us through the enacting of the cross and life life abundantly eternal everlasting life that will not perish of the world but will be eternal and everlasting in him so let us grasp these biblical truths today and let us live in them in that promise amen now if you watch this video today before we uh, pause to pray do feel free to at the end of it comment to like and to share widely and if you haven't already done so subscribe to this youtube channel and join us in more bible studies daily devotions preaching videos evangelism tips etc etc and join us in reaching many men women and children for jesus christ now let us pray dear lord we pray that everything we've just looked at, Lord, Ephesians chapter 2, will sink into our hearts, into our minds, and be in our very souls, that we may carry it, may live in it, may stand on those promises, and may tell many of your saving grace, your saving mercy, your peace, and your life abundantly. We pray that we may take those messages out and proclaim it to the nations. We pray this in Jesus' name. And we pray for everyone watching this video, Lord. Meet them at this time. Bless them. Mightily we pray. You know their needs. You know their circumstances and their situations. Bless their families. Bless their households. And may they share the joy of you in their lives as they accept you as Lord and Saviour. And may that overflow into their families into their communities into their very church buildings and may edify empower and encourage the believers to put their trust and proclaim you as lord we pray all these things in jesus's precious name amen now if you've watched this video do feel free if you're watching it as a group or as a family or as a household to sit round now and discuss maybe play it through a second time pause it at stages and then discuss and then carry on but do be blessed and i pray god will use this mightily to touch each and every one of you amen